LEGO Ideas has been the most inspired LEGO theme of recent years, providing LEGO fans with a huge variety of models for all tastes, with the latest being LEGO Ideas set number 42, the Jazz Quartet. Standard looking LEGO Ideas box and once again, as is usually the case with LEGO Ideas, they completely killed it with the price per piece ratio. $100 for 1600 pieces is an amazing LEGO deal. Here in the corner we can see the special icon some LEGO sets recently feature, indicating that this is a build suitable for being built by up to four people at the same time. The build is divided into four different sections, each of them with their corresponding instruction booklet with some lovely looking art for the covers. The fifth book included talks about the set in detail and also mentions as a standard procedure in LEGO Ideas instructions, both the fan designer and the LEGO designers in charge of designing the model. Absolutely no building steps in this one. Onto the model itself, I was surprised about the size. The figures look to me like mini land figures that you can can see in Legoland parks. I've built a few myself in the past, but I was completely wrong about the scale. These guys are a few bricks taller, which allows them to be sturdier models, packing a lot more detail and expression. Let's start with the trumpet player as an example. You can totally feel how into the music this guy is, judging by his pose, right? Not only that, the size of the model allows for clothing detailing like the suspenders, his red tie and rolled up sleeves, his hands wrapping around the trumpet, his mouth ready to blow some air in to his instrument and finally the cool haircut are some other examples of how the scale of the model allows for extra detail. Next we move on to the bass player, less slimmer than his previous companion with a lot of freedom to pose his arms and head, all connected to ball joints. His bow tie made with an all black minifigure gaming controller is pure genius and again the hairstyle is kinda cool. The bass is in itself an amazing build, something I could totally see LEGO doing as standalone LEGO sets. Carving the hollow structure the real instrument has would be impossible at this scale, but the elements used here to mimic that are spot on. An actual LEGO string is used to replicate the bass's strings. The way the arm of the instrument was done at an angle was a very interesting building technique worth mentioning as well. As I said before, the bass player can pose his arms in a lot of different ways wrapping around his instrument, which is cool and both him and the trumpet player are strongly connected to the bass they're built upon. The drummer is a bit on the chubby side of body proportions and that is so cool to see. His leg open and his arms can move quite a lot in a similar way as the previous player, but this one has an extra rotation point above the belly for extra poses. Again, the face style is really cool with a brilliant element choice for the beard and two simple tiles make for a great bow tie. His seat is a neat little build using a similar technique to those used for some of the drum pieces supports. It is a complete drum set with the right symbol, the crash symbol and the hi-hat symbol with a pedal down here at a perfect place for the player to place his feet. Snare drum, all of the tom-toms and the bass drum, the highlight of all of the drum set pieces when it comes down to the building techniques. The core is a really cool studs not on top type of build which I really enjoyed and there was even room to include two curved slopes with the number 7, a reference to the fan designer username on the LEGO Ideas platform. Every drum set piece is connected to the base so you can move the model around without the fear of stuff falling off. Last but not least, the piano player, this time around a woman, probably the biggest difference if we compare the final model to the fan submission model. She is sitting on the classic piano bench and again the scale of the characters allows for very cool details like the high heels, earrings or the very iconic hairstyle. I don't love the arms on this character though and the right hand can't even be posed on the piano's keyboard. Which leads us to the final instrument, by far my favorite of them all, but I may be biased as I played the piano a few years ago and still play the pipe organ to this day. Again, another model that could in itself be a standalone LEGO set. I probably like this piano more than the LEGO Ideas one from a few years ago. It features most of the details you would expect to see from a real grand piano. The pedals and the keyboard with the iconic red felt behind them which you can hardly see which makes it even more perfect. There's the music stand, the lid of the piano that can be opened to reveal even more details like some of the strings, especially the bass ones making use of a golden iron gate LEGO element, part of the cast iron plate or even the hammers down here. The only detail that is truly lacking from this is the fallboard or the keyboard lead. Not complaining that it isn't here but that and perhaps making a studless lead would make this piano perfect. When connected to the bass, the grand piano pedals as expected will perfectly sit under the pianist feet. As you've been able to see, all of the individual players rest on top of their own unique bass which then combines to form the band stage. There's some different arrangements that you could 
do, making a duet with the pianist and the drummer, or if you'd like to keep the quartet together, you could switch the positions of the bassist and the trumpet player, which will require you to switch some pins and tiles around. As a display piece, this model looks really good. If you care about music or jazz and are a fan of LEGO, I see no reason for you not to get it. Amazing LEGO deal as I stated before, considering the price per piece ratio, and the building experience was really really good to be honest. The characters, while seemingly simple to build, are jam-packed with snot techniques to get all of the shapes and details right, which was great. And they're all different, so no repetition is something I can appreciate for sure. The bass was a very clever build, and so was the bass drum piece from the drum set. But like, literally, every detail of the set was a joy to build, apart from the bases of the players. With that said, I can see how some established LEGO fans might feel inclined to get this one, but also how this could be an easy pass for many. Either way, I really like this one, it looks great, it has some fantastic builds and building experience wise was super enjoyable, and one of the nicer ones from recent times. Thank you LEGO for sending this set for review, and I'll see you all in the next one.